So for my next DIY, I have one of these boxes. It says good day. I already started and then I remembered I needed to film. So I removed this um, and I'm going to peel this off. You're gonna need, so I have some black paint because I'm gonna paint this black. And then I'm not sure which paper I'm gonna use. So I have four different ones that I can choose from. Um, not sure which pumpkin I'm gonna use either out of there or maybe one of those little tiny ones depending on what I feel so I'm gonna start by removing this paper I mean, I guess I could have just left it, but part of it had already come off, so I figured I would just peel the rest of this off. So I'm gonna peel this off, and I will be right back, and then we can move to the next step. All right, guys, so I got the picture out, and now I'm gonna paint the box. Just gonna paint it black. It is already black, but I want it to be a darker black because to me this is really light and it's kind of faded so just gonna give it a fresh coat of black paint so since it's already black it's not gonna need that many coats so hopefully I can get away with one like I said I just wanted to give it a little shine because it did look kind of dull and you could see the wood coming through certain areas on it and I didn't like it so So I'm gonna do finish this and I'll come right back all right guys so this box is completely dry I'm gonna take my Mod Podge and I'm just gonna start brushing Mod Podge inside and then I will lay my paper down I already cut out my paper. I don't know the, uh, I don't know how big it is. So I kind of just traced out the square of the box and then just went from there because I didn't know how big it was. And so I'm sorry, I don't know. As you can see, I missed the corner down here. I cut it a little too far, but that's okay. I'm gonna touch that up with some black paint and then you won't be able to see it. So I decided to use the paper that I got from Hobby Lobby, the Buffalo Check, but it's orange and black. Um, I was contemplating and contemplating. I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do. So I threw away the inside piece that stuck out and the reason I did that was because even if I glued one of these to that you could still see the shape of the thing that came with this behind the pumpkin sorry about that like I was saying I threw away the thing that popped out that was in here that said good day and it had eyelashes on it because when I placed one of these pumpkins over the top of it you could still see the backing like the you could still see the circle thing that came with this. So I just threw it away. I have the tumbling tower game, so I'm just gonna use a few of those pieces and hot glue them. Like if I have to take two or three and then hot glue a pumpkin to the... I 
can't even talk right now. I don't even know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So, basically, I would hot glue this, but just so that I could show you. So, I would hot glue it. So when I placed it to the one that came with this, you could still see the circle. It, the pumpkin didn't cover it and it looked really weird. So I threw it away and so I might need to glue two of these together and then hot glue it to my box. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll come right back so that way I can tell you what I did. Hey guys, so everything dried. I took one tumbling tower piece, hot glued it to the back of the pumpkin and then hot glued that to the center. Um, I do need to touch it up down here with black paint because I didn't cut the paper straight because like I said I don't know how big it is. I kind of just had to eyeball it. So I took the stickers. Oh, I painted this pumpkin orange. It came in a pack of five. So I took one of them out of there. The other ones that I had were just way too small. And then I took a piece of jute twine that I already had and just tied a little bow to cover up the hole. And then I took letters and wrote our pumpkin patch. Now I'm going to take this really thin paintbrush and take some Mod Podge and go over each letter so that way it sticks to the pumpkin. And I've done this before on something else. So for me, I didn't like it when I swiped it across each letter. Um, because you could see the streaks. Like it just looked like one giant streak of Mod Podge. So because I didn't Mod Podge this down because I was trying so hard to get this as straight as I could and this was as straight as I could get it. So just really lightly. You don't need that much. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna just cover this whole pumpkin in Mod Podge. So that way it'll be nice and glossy. Um, if you don't want that kind of look, obviously don't do that. You could just put Mod Podge down or on the back of each letter and then use that as glue. That'll work as well. But since I already started this, I'm just going to do it this way. Um, normally I wouldn't do that this way, but oh well, that's just how I'm doing it. So I don't have a white chalk paint. And that's what I wanted to use to write something on here, but I don't have one, so I'm just going to use letters. And I don't have any E's, so this is what I was able to spell. Which, that's perfectly fine with me. So it's just going to be a shiny, glossy pumpkin, but that's what it looks like. Everything was purchased at Dollar Tree except for the Mod Podge and the paint. The orange paint that I used is, uh, it's just this orange one from Walmart. I got it a long time ago. Um, it was like 79 cents. And then I used the paper from Hobby Lobby. It was four for a dollar. This box I got at Dollar Tree, the black paint I already had and I got it at Walmart, and the Twine I already had and they sell that at Dollar Tree as well. So I hope you guys like this. I really love the way this came out. Not sure where I'm going to put it yet. Um, and you guys will be seeing a tour of my house soon and I do have a few more DIYs coming up so this is not all of them. So stay tuned. I hope you guys give it a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. I would love for you to be part of my YouTube family if you're not already. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.